So uh, this joint work is Zhang Zhang from State Key Laboratory of State Key Laboratory of Cryptology in China. Okay, so the this is the outline of, of the talk. So I'll give a very brief introduction to LPN, and then uh, we studied actually these uh, two independent problems: uh, the LPN with uh, how to invert the extraordinary input, and also how to construct a PKE from constant noise LPN. And then we conclude, and uh, we point out some urban problems. Uh, and LPN is, is well known. Uh, I'm sorry, but this should be some kind of distribution. But, uh, so this this, is the, the, this denotes the noise di distribution, but I don't know somehow. Uh, so we sample the secret X and sample random matrix, which is public, and we sample the noise distribution, and which every every bit is uh, independent biased, and it's more biased to zero than one. So mu is the noise rate. Okay, so the, the search version of LPN just say that uh, you're given the matrix and you, you're given the samples, you find out X. So it's essentially, it's like to solve a system of linear equations. So the number of samples is the number of uh, equations. Uh, actually, in presence, of, in presence of noise, which makes this problem very difficult. And uh, the digital version just says that uh, the, the samples, they are, they are pseudo random, even given the, given the matrix. And we know that these two versions, they are in equivalent in the polynomial sense. You know? And actually, we can also use, I'm sorry, I mean, we can also use Bernoulli distribution for the secret X as well. So there's no need to use sample X from uniform, because the secret, they are essentially the same which can be seen by a simple reduction. Okay, so both the secret can be sampled from the binary distribution. And uh, the MP LPN is believed to be hard. In the worst, in the worst case, um, it represents the, uh, the, the well-known decoding random linear code, so it's, it's known to be MP-complete. But we know that for, for cryptography, we need uh, average case hardness. So there are two settings in the constant noise rate setting. So the, so the, noise, ra the noise rate is fixed and independent of the secret size. So in this case, the well-known BKW is the best algorithm, and asymptotically is the best algorithm that needs time and sample complexity, which is almost uh, exponential, up to this log, log n factor. And we also have the trade-off. So we need more time, but we, then we need a less amount of, uh, we just need a polynomial number of uh, samples. Okay, so, and for, for, for PKE, we, we will need uh, a stronger assumption. So here, this noise rate is also a function of uh, n. So the noise rate will decrease when n increases. Then in this case, mu is n to some minus constant. And typically, this constant is a uh, half. In this case, uh, the, the, the time complexity is, is sub-exponential, and we, need, uh, we only need this low noise air pin to be secure against a linear number of samples to, just to construct public key encryption schemes. And we believe that the low noise air pin is, uh, is a, a stronger assumption than constant noise air pin. Because we already know last year, from, from last year, the PKC paper that the, the low noise air pin with security against a linear number of samples already implies that constant noise LPN with a security against any polynomial number of samples. Okay. And the LPN is, uh, is also believed to be quantum secure because we don't know any quantum algorithm that has additional advantages than the class classic ones in solving LPN. So related work, we have a lot of uh, symmetric key crypto stuff, uh, so post random generators, specification schemes, and pseudo random functions. Basically, everything can be constructed from one-way functions, can be done from LPN efficiently, from constant noise LPN, except for the last one. Okay, and uh, for public key cryptography, we need uh, a stronger version. A st we needed a, a stronger assumption, which is the low noise LPN. Okay, so we have CPA, CCA schemes from 
low noise LPM in the literature. And in, in this work, we are going to construct PKE from, from constant noise LPM, which is believed to be the standard uh, assumption about the LPM. Okay, so it's this work. And the main result is that we consider actually two problems. The, the constant noise LPM already implies that uh, LPM is ro robust against uh, hard to invert auxiliary input. So in this case, this X is not, uh, uh, this X might be uniform, but they are also a leakage. So F, F over X is the leakage. So given the leakage, the X remains like two to the power of uh, two, min two mi uh, minus two lambda hard to invert for all, for, for all the PPT adversaries. Okay, so. So we'll come back to this later. Actually, this problem also, also in, uh, is, was also considered in the stock paper, but uh, they proved uh, this uh, under a stronger assumption, uh, a new assumption. And then we show that when this constant noise LPN is uh, exponentially hard, then we can construct a PKE and even oblique transfer protocols. Okay, so this was actually this was actually an open problem, and we mentioned that uh, this uh, super exponential hardness is reasonable because the best known attacks on a constant LPN has complexity much beyond much beyond the n to the square root of n. It's the precise bond is n uh, two to the n over log n. Okay, so. There will be some technical tools. And here's a very brief introduction to PKE. We know that we have the encryption, decry decryption, we have key generation. So these are standard definitions. Hmm. Oh, can, can we move to the next? Oh, okay. So he, he has the, also, we have the tag based PKE. So he, we have, uh, we have additionally attack, so encryption can, uh, cipher, uh, messages are encrypted under attack and decryption has to be uh, performed under the, under the same tag. So we, we require the correctness of, to be, in, uh, uh, the decryption correctness to be at least overwhelming. Okay, so these are the standard definitions about CPA secure, CPA secure PKE. So we have, so it just says like two messages, they are indistinguishable. The, the, the encryption with the two messages, they are indistinguishable. Okay, so, um, so these are all the standard definitions. And then for CCA, we, the challenge will answer decryption queries. Okay. And for the tag based, uh, uh, here, the, the advantage we look for, for a secure, secure CP and CCA scheme, we need uh, the advantage of the adversary to be negligible. And for tag-based tag CCA secure scheme, so at, at the beginning, the adversary has to commit to a, to a tag. Okay, and then the challenger only answers query decryption queries for other tags. Okay, so here's the difference. And we know that the if we have already a CCA secure tag-based PKE, then it can be transformed into a standard CCA secure PKE scheme without tags using generic transforms. So it suffices for us to just build a tag-based PKE that is CCA secure. Okay. And before we present the construction, we need to understand why previous P PKE schemes meet the low, low noise LPN assumption. Here, in this case, we give a very simplified illustration. Say Bob wants to encrypt a single message, M, a single bit message to M, and send it to Alice, so that Alice can decrypt with at least noticeable correctness. So to do this, Alice will sample a uniform random, a uniform random matrix, and also, this, uh, uh, the, she will also sample two secret vectors from the noise distribution. Okay, then she will send these two values, the, the, the LPN samples that are corresponding to this matrix to Bob, which can consider the, as a public key. And the secret key is actually this, this vector, this vector. 
and T means transpose. So these are the transposed vectors, they are all real vectors. Okay, and Bob will do the same. We will sample two column vectors from the noise distribution and compute the samples corresponding to, to, the, uh, to the same matrix and send them back. Actually, the message is also encrypted. Okay, so here the, it means the inner product between two, two m bit vectors. Okay, so then ac ac Alice can actually decrypt the message. She just computes the m prime, which is almost m subject to to to, to no and the noisy bits. So, so the, these two noise bits they are both the inner product between two two noise uh, two, two binary distributions, two m bit binary distributions. Okay, so here give the lower bound of the correctness. So here you can see that that is why we need this mu to be n over some like n over square root of n. Oh, sorry, one over square root of n. Okay, so that this correctness can be noticeable. So this is why the low noise rate is essentially needed. The next we are we are going to do very little modification to this protocol to make this PK also works for constant noise LPN. But before that, we need a lemma. So in this technical lemma says that the, uh, this LPN, uh, for constant LPN, it already implies that it is secure against uh, sub-exponentially sub hard, hard to invert uh, leakage. Okay, so here this X has, you can say that this X has like two lambda bits of positive entropy given the leakage. And still they are, they are their LPN samples are positively random, even given the leakage and the matrix. And but the difference is that so this E is sampled from the binary distribution, and but this A is sampled from a random space of dimension lambda. So here it's actually the product between two matrix. So V gives the random space, and A are the coins, random coins for sampling from that random matrix. So this A prime A prime means that. Uh, they're sampling from a, a random space of dimension lambda. Okay, and the, the proof is very easy because we can write, uh, we can consider Vx. Uh, Vx is essentially positive random, given because we have like two lambda bits of leakage, of two lambda bits of entropy, and we can just at least extract the lambda bits of it. So, so Vx will be positive random even given V and the leakage, okay? So then we can replace this Vx with uniform randomness that is independent of, independent of f of x. So that's why it reduces to the standard assumption. Okay. So, but we need actually, for our PKE, we, we need a smaller lambda. We need a polylog rhythmic in N, lambda to be polylog log rhythmic in N. But here, this lambda is, uh, is like a, a sublinear polynomial of n. This is because that here in this, in this uh, indistinguishability game, uh, here the security parameter is n, not lambda. So we need to set lambda to be a polynomial of n so that any polynomial of n is automatically another polynomial of a lambda. But for, for lambda to be poly, poly log, poly log rhythmic in N, then we need a stronger assumption. Namely, we need, a, need this LPN to be sub-exponentially sub hard. Okay, so for, for example, for lambda, which is the square, uh, the, the squared log N, then we need the above, uh, we need the above LPN assumption to be at least exponential hard for, 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 for the proof to go through. Okay. And this is proof. If we just uh, write this term as a function of n, then this will be super polynomial so that this indistinguishability will, will hold for all the adversaries with polynomial resources in n. Okay, so this will get some, this, we will get some immediate applications the same as that stock paper, but which, which is not the focus of this paper. And then we will use the fact that uh, this LPN is essentially secure against uh, squared log entropies for in our, in our protocol, okay? 
so we introduce our work. Okay, so this is another distribution, but distribution. So this is another distribution, which denotes a random distribution with having weight exactly log n. Okay, so this and actually this the entropy of this distribution is squared log, which can be seen by a simple like stirring approximation. So once we hit with this, once with this new distribution, we can just do the modification to the previous protocol. Okay, we sample the matrix from a random subspace. So all the differences are highlighted in red. But the, instead of sample S from, from, from the binary distribution, we sampled from this new distribution, okay? And send this A and B to Bob, and Bob would do the same, except that this S1 is also sampled from the new distribution. Okay, then you can see the correctness. So the, so the noise, so the noisy bit is still the inner product between these two vectors. But now that at least one of these vectors, they are sampled from the new distribution, and which is very sparse. It has like coming with only log n. So, so the other vector can be, have constant noise rate, so that the inner product between, the inner product bit, being, bit between these two, this still has like cor noticeable cor correlation. Okay, so actually, this is already gives us a almost CPA secure LPN. So it encrypts one, map, one bit message, and uh, uh, except that the, the, the correctness is not is only noticeable. So, but to make the correctness overwhelming, we can use error correction codes to get a CPA secure public key encryption. So everything and they are the same, except we can encode more than one bit of message. So these are the correctness and the security. Uh, and for CCA, we can uh, using using the using using the techniques from from the PKC paper from 24. Oh, sorry, it's, it should be 2014. It's not 20, 2004, 2014. We construct first of all we construct the tag based PKE that is CCA secure. And uh, yeah, and we use like two the double trump door techniques, and actually one only one trump door is used for decryption, and the other trump door we have used for in the security proof. Okay, and uh, I'm not uh, go to the details, but uh, this the, the the proof idea is very similar to to to, to the previous works from la like uh, these two PKC papers from 2000. 2014 and 2015. And then once we have a CCA secure tag based PKE, we can transform it into a standard CCA, standard CCA secure PKE schemes using generic transform. Okay, now to conclude. We, from, from standard LPN, we construct the first uh, CCA secure PKE. But actually, there are some open problems because our, our results are mainly feasibility results, so it's, open, it's not very efficient. So it remains open if we can construct PKE from constant noise LPN. And uh, other, other unrelated open problems are if we can construct the PIFs in constant depths from LPN, or even more crazy stuff like uh, CIA trips and uh, FHEs from LPN. But actually, there are some negative results about LPN, uh, uh, constructing FHE from LPN. But I, I would not call it uh, impossibility to result. But this paper just says like uh, straightforward constructions of, uh, of uh, uh, straightforward constructions will not work for but the, it does not rule, rule, rule out the possibility that we can make very complicated construct, constructions from LPN. Okay. Yeah, thank you for the. Thank you.